This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So the other thing that we've heard right or wrong, you can correct us is that Johnny Ace was sort of the eyes and ears for Eric Bischoff at the time. And Johnny Ace, of course, had, had been a, a major player over in Japan uh, with the Baba family and organization. And of course, his ace crusher became the hottest move in the business here in the States under different names. But he is also the brother of Road Warrior Animal. It's weird how it all just sort of ties together. But did, what was your read on Johnny Ace at the time? Did you feel like, hey, Maybe he's not exactly the big boss, but he gets it and he's one of the boys and he's good for us. Or, you know, is the old narrative of, oh, anybody in that position's a stooge is uh, that's not fair, but that's what people say of you know anybody who's in talent relations, if you will, it's the heat position. We just talked about it last week. You, your, your deal came to an end with WWF and people to this day assume, oh, you must hate that guy. Oh, he's doing his job. Uh, what was your read on Johnny Ace here in 2000 and 2001, actually, with WCW? It's funny you ask because when you told me this was the topic and I started just jogging the brain, I specifically, as the lead up to all this, remember a flight. Me and Johnny were in first class sitting side by side on the aisle and we chatted and at one time we stood up because i don't know if one of us went to the bathroom whatever and he said but we 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 basically stood for about an hour chatting about you name it life wrestling finishes and all this but i remember that i got the distinct feeling that he's feeling me, me out and me me and johnny even though the last couple of years we worked together side by side a lot i, I don't think we ever even discussed this but i remember thinking He's feeling me out, and I know that I'm feeling him out. But the thing that I couldn't wrap my head around was, I wonder if he realizes what he's stepping into. Not that he really cares, because at the end of the day, you know, I'd heard his reputation in Japan. He's a Finnish guy. And look, I'd been over Japan a couple of times. I just knew American finishes and Japan finishes are are not in the same ballpark, especially in the year 2000. So, you know, he's going to be talent relations, but also a Finnish guy. And, and he was going to help me with finishes. And this ties into this story. Um, the, 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 uh, it tied back into bash at the beach, but, but also during this whole sort of changeover of deal that I'm thinking to myself, he's going to have to make sense out of finishes from the current creative mess with all the different names. That ain't going to be easy, and we had that conversation. But him being the – the I didn't think of it, Stooge. Basically, he's a part of Eric's due diligence and that team. But what is it going to look like? Like, like who – how is it going to move forward? We both felt each other out on that flight. Uh, but I didn't really know what his specific role was going to be in the new company. I understood what his role was. You know, I, I know that coming off the Sid leg break um, – you know, I think a lot of people put heat on Johnny because he, Sid, he told Sid, jump off the second rope um, to do this move. And I think it ended up in litigation over that, uh, of that, that Sid said that he didn't want to do it, but Johnny made him do it in fear of losing his job and all yep. this. That is a true story. What I yep. recall is that Johnny wanted him to do this move and Sid didn't feel comfortable. He did it and broke his leg. So, but again, Johnny being Joe's brother, and and look, it's the business. He, Johnny was one of the boys in my eyes at the end of the day. So let's let's briefly discuss the Johnny Ace thing when he sort of John Laurinaitis. Yeah, when he hit when he John Laurinaitis, don't call him Johnny Ace. Okay, sorry. Johnny Ace doesn't work here. You ever heard that line? No, I haven't heard that. <laughs> Is that it's what he current, says? In current employer, Johnny Ace does not work here. Okay. Mr. Laurinaitis, when he, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when he drops that hint that, Hey, something might be up or happening. How does that strike you? As far as the ownership? Yeah. I could not read like, okay, so new company coming in, who's going and who's staying. It, it, it's the easiest way for me to say it, that not everybody, things were about to change. Where was I going to fall in? But always, maybe uh, the delusional optimistic, always had really 
a high level of confidence in my ability. I could work with, I felt I could work with anybody, heel or baby face, uh, opening match to main event. Uh, where were the chips going to fall? But I also knew my, my, my deal was not going to choke anybody out. And so I felt confident that I would fit into that. Um, just like I told Bill Bush, yeah, I'll get on board. I'm going to earn my way to the top. Watch me. And that was sort of my, my vibe that wasn't exactly sure where it was going, but give me an opportunity and I'll put on my work boots and go to work and let the chips fall where they may. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.